Hi, welcome to ERP Next. In this webinar, we will cover the new features which are added in ERP Next version 11. Uh, HR features um, are now fine tuned to accommodate, you know, uh, larger corporations or maybe uh, bigger enterprises, uh, which. So now uh, there is a uh, there are, uh, kind of changes in uh, leave management, uh, payroll, and then employee onboarding and uh, situation, shift management, etc. So in most uh, large enterprises, uh, it's kind of difficult to manage, you know, the HR related activities. So uh, that's how uh, uh, the B level is uh, going to. Uh, help uh, larger enterprises on board ERP Next and manage their HR activities uh, more easier. So we'll start with the leave uh, management. Uh, so uh, we look at the leave types. There is a little bit more uh, support for uh, various options in uh, leave, creating leave types itself. So we have. Uh, 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 these are all uh, earlier features itself. Maximum leaves allowed in a year. Then uh, this is uh, for uh, this applicable after is uh, will help you uh, configure the leaves which can only be taken after uh, the employee joins the company and works for a particular number of days. Then we have a leave and cashment added now. Then earned leave is also there. So for earned leave. Uh, we can specify which uh, in which frequency it is uh, the employee earns the leaves. So earned leave is like you know uh, whenever an employee uh, works for one month, he gets uh, you know uh, two leaves or so. Uh, encashment is uh, encashing the leaves which uh, the employee uh, didn't avail in a particular leave period. So uh, and in this threshold days uh, is uh, to mention that uh, this many days won't be. You know, allowed to and cash. So those that's about the leave type. Now uh, our changes. Um, we have introduced this leave period. Um, sorry, the leave policy. So the HR can specify a leave policy for a particular company. Okay. So we can say this many leaves are allocated for uh, every employee for this particular year. Or the leave period actually. So, uh, so in one place you can set uh, you know, the leave uh, policy, and uh, it, uh, leave policy can be assigned to each employee or based on the gra grades of the employee. So for example, uh, for this, something, uh, this is the leave period that uh, we configured. So if you can select the uh, grades of the employees, then you can grant the leaves to all the employees. Yes, Leah, I guess that's how uh, I mean it's an uh, leave can be car carried forward or uh, it could be encashed. So you can uh, use uh, what do you say uh, uh, various combinations of uh, these this kind of carry forward and plus uh, encashment. So if, if the employee doesn't uh, encash it in the leave period, he can carry. Uh, in the uh, leave period, we can allow allocate grand leaves. That is, it creates a leave allocation as in earlier uh, design cell. And it will create a uh, leave allocation for uh, the employees for this particular company. So now, if you look at uh, the leave allocations, you can see this many uh, leave allocations will be created. So, for casual leave, the annual allocation as per the leave, uh, leave policy will be uh, allocated. And for earned leaves, Currently, initially there won't be any uh, allocation, but every uh, based on the frequency, the scheduler will uh, add allocate uh, leaves as the employee, you know, uh, 
and I mean as the time proceeds. So that's about uh, leaves, uh, uh, leaf allocation and uh, leaf policies. So the, the leaf allocation tool is uh, now gone off, but instead you have to use the leaf period and uh, grand leaves to each employee. Now for leave engagement, employee can uh, uh, select a leave uh, period. Now I can say, how uh, you say uh, uh, the leave balance of the employee and how much leaves they can uh, encash. So the threshold is for cash. So cash leave is ten, so that's why that's not allowed to be in cash. Because privilege leave is having five as uh, threshold days, so that's not allowed to be in cash form. Now when you say when uh, this will create an additional salary which will be added to the uh, that particular. Uh, Payroll. Now the leave uh, after the encashing the leave balance will also be uh, reduced for the employee, so you won't be able to apply for a. Uh, for the seven days, which is already encashed. Then compensatory leave request is there. Uh, this means uh, employees can request for leaves, uh, uh, which are uh, for uh, for the days they have worked from worked on holidays. So it will actually uh, create. For that particular, uh, uh, sorry, it, it will actually allocate uh, that uh, compensatory leave for that particular employee in the leave allocation. I guess that's about in the leaves. Uh, now we can move on to the. Uh, Now leave application actually okay it's been refactored and uh, if you select uh, uh, it will show you uh, the list of leaves which are allocated and uh, which uh, you know what is they can you know, what is spending what's the balance of the leaves the same the behavior is uh, almost similar. The only thing is, uh, you, the employee gets to see uh, what is the status of his leaves. Uh, 